I love Simulu because it's enabled me to kind of use the tools that they've given me to develop new products, new systems. Uh, I enjoy creativity side of engineering and it's allowed me to come up with concepts, uh, present them to people to show them the, the potential of these new products, new ideas. So simulation in a way has, has kind of driven new ideas for me. So what I try to tell people is I do car crashes, you know, in a virtual world sense in what I work on. So no matter what it is, it was in the energy industry. Now I'm in a new role in aerospace and defense working for um, mainstream Eng engineering corporation. And, and what we're doing there is we're basically doing the same kind of stuff. You're, you're doing car crashes simulation in the products that you work with. And then what you do is you evaluate that car crash, so to speak, and then you try to find its weaknesses and try to improve on those weaknesses and maybe optimize the designs that way. A concept will come up, you, you kind of flesh out as much as you can on paper calculations and, and whatnot, but to truly give it its best foot forward, uh, it's nice to see, at least especially if, with a customer involved, uh, what that device can do and what are its limitations. And if you can show you know, a customer or, or even uh, upper management you know, these limitations and these potential uh, you know, victories that you might have going forward if you spend some money to, to make these prototypes. There's been a couple of key uh, problems that I've, I've been fortunate to work on. Um, one of them was resolving a, a fairly major problem for our company and it involved a, a seal and an anchoring system. Um, long story short, uh, we, I was able to optimize the design to the point of making it not only to meet the current need, but also future needs. So that's the biggest surprise for me, is, is it accommodated a future need that the company needed.